This is a planetary gear set from a transfer case. This is generally how pretty much most four-wheel drive transfer cases work for the gear reduction or going to four low. So we have multiple pieces for planetary gear set. We have three components. We're going to have a sun gear, the planetary carrier, which has our planets or pinions on it, and then the ring gear. So the ring gear inside the case is fixed to the case and has our reactionary component, so it stays still. The planet carrier sits inside the ring gear, and the sun gear, which is also the input shaft, is always inside the planet carrier. Now, the input is always the sun gear, which means if our input is the sun, our output is the carrier, and the ring gear is held still, we have a underdrive situation. Now, how we get to a one-to-one -one ratio, or a, say, let's say 2.72 to one ratio, using the planetary, is with our, depends on what you want to call it, some people call it the uh, range sleeve, others might call it the range clutch, or the uh, high-low clutch. So this component, this like range sleeve, is splined to the output shaft. Oh, wrong side of the output shaft. Uh, where's one that's at? Okay, got the output shaft in the right direction now. So that's going to the rear wheels. This is where the input attaches to, and this is where our range sleeve slides on. So there's a fork attached to the sleeve, which will slide the sleeve forwards and backwards. On the end is where our input shaft is. So our input's here. You can see the sleeve is able to not be engaged with the input, so the input rotates separately from the output shaft or the main shaft. But if we slide this in, like so, now it's locked. So if I try to rotate it, they're now turning as one. So that gives us a one to one ratio. If I pull this halfway out, like so, that's neutral. We're not engaged with the sun gear or the input, but we're also not engaged with the carrier yet. So that gives us our neutral. So if I take this, put it back in, flip it around, you can see input shaft is right there. If I can turn this. So these splines or these teeth on the inside are separate than the carrier. So if our sleeve, once I get in there, it's all the way down. I'm now locked to the input shaft. If I pull this partially up, neutral. And a little bit further, now we are in our low drive or reduction gear. So all the way down, that's one to one ratio because we're locked. Remember, this sleeve is splined to the main shaft or the output shaft. So all the way down, that's now locked to the input gear or the input shaft. Halfway up, doing nothing, so that's neutral. And now we're locked to the carrier. And remember, if you're neutral, you have now dis disabled or um, disconnected the transmission from the rear front and rear drive wheels. So if you have the transmission parked and you pop the transfer case into neutral, the vehicle can roll away. So it's something to be aware of.